hello and welcome back to Winders Mall Farms. Today I'm going to just show you a few of the things I've been working on recently. So to start off, um, we've got this F700, F750 um, service truck that I'm building and it's for the most part done with actually being built. I would like to get a welder and a crane arm and put on there and maybe a fuel tank or something. So that's where this stands. I need to get some parts for it. Um, I've got a few service trucks that need some arm booms and some uh, fuel tanks and maybe some uh, welders for. So if you know where to get some of that, just let me know. Um, cause I am looking for some at a reasonable price and I kind of want possibly different ones on my different service trucks. Um, next thing is this, um, it's not done yet. It's not attached. Still gotta attach it, but this is a green light box that came off a C60 and I'm putting it on this old Ertl truck that I painted. So working on that still but I got the truck all painted and the everything so the next thing is a C60 fertilizer tender got a video coming out about that or might already be out another thing I've worked on is for a while um, F350 with a grain box does dump Finally done with that. Might do a video on this, not sure yet. Got this right here. This old uh, Ertl, well it's actually a Tonka I think, um, sprayer truck. And what I did was I added some huge rear tires to that. Came with some that were probably only like, um, maybe that wide, about half of these. So I had these big old tires on it, had to adjust some of the height of it just a little bit to get the tires to fit, but they fit nicely. I think that looks really cool on there, having those huge tires. Another thing I am working on is I've got these tracks off of a New Holland Combine. And I'm going to be putting them onto a Case Combine. So unfortunately the... Um, the bottom piece of this case combine and then the bottom piece of this new Holland combine are slightly different shapes so I can't just take the the bottom and screw it on to a, a case one without doing some modifications and I don't want to do that so I took the tracks off this and what I'm going to do is probably put tires on this one and then I've got to put the tracks on this and so what I've got to do is drill out this hole down here and that's where the bottom of the tracks uh, go into and then the top piece goes into that top hole where the tire would go into and then you just put the track on once you get those attached so that's pretty much what I'm working on right now other than that try not to start too much stuff at once so I've got some things, but I haven't started yet. But I'll keep you all in the loop. We've got a cool project coming up. And I'll show you once we get some of the stuff for that. It's still on order, but that's pretty much what we got right now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.